Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night, depending on what time you're watching this next episode from me, Abermans, and it is another farm. You lot keep asking me, so this is down to you guys, you lot keep asking me, Abo, do another mob farm, do another mob farm, do another mob farm, but this time, do one that's not so resource heavy, and I'm thinking, how can I do that? And there are lots of ideas out there on the internet, and in YouTube, and places like that, and I thought I'd have a crack at an adaptation of some ideas that I've seen out there from various sources, but make it a little bit my own that's not too resource intensive, although you do need a fair bit of iron, to be fair. But other than that, it's not too bad. This is not an XP grinder, this is a mob grinder to get you loads of stuffs. So let's crack on. Now to make this, you don't need that much really, not compared with some of the other mob grinders that are out there. And what we've got here is 1,225 cobble. Now it doesn't have to be cobble, but cobble's dead easy. Let's face it, cobble, you get loads of cobble all the time. So that works out as 19 stacks plus an extra nine. You then need six buckets of water, 36 hoppers, six redstone, couple of chests, 12 redstone torches, four dispensers, Four lots of, I've used stone bricks, but a different conductive block. 16 repeaters, 58 ladders, and a load of torches. I've got a couple of stacks there, and it kind of comes down to how much lighting up you want to do. Now, remember, you've got to light up all of the caves in the dark places within 128 blocks of your mob farm. That's really important, otherwise your efficiency is going to drop through the floor. Let's get on with it. Failing to plan is planning to fail. So what I want you to do is to mark out a little bit of territory so as you get this bit right because if you do this bit wrong everything else kind of falls apart so get yourself a line in the floor of blocks doesn't matter what block it is i'm using green wool here purely because it's dead easy to find get yourself a row of blocks that is 21 across and in the dead middle so if you count 10 and then one and then another 10 the dead middle put another colored block and then from the kind of inner edge so come in one do yourself a diagonal in a different block that comes all the way out in a diagonal so as it's opposite that middle bit so it comes down 10 and then back up and do it in rows of two exactly like I have done there that is the start plan get on with that and then the next bit is coming now so the next bit is optional but if you're doing this in survival which you almost certainly are you are going to need a way to get down nice and fast so dig yourself a three by three hole here and just diagonally run some stuff across there. That will give you some water that you can drop into from as high as you want and you won't die. That is really the perfect situation if you fall and don't die. Obviously you can get yourself feather fall or something like that, but that is to stop yourself from dying a lot. Then get on this middle block, get yourself your kind of, it doesn't matter again what block this is. Conductive block is good. I'm using cobble simply because it is dead easy to get hold of. And you want to tower up 35 blocks. So let's get up and do that. There we go, 35 blocks. And what we're going to do here is we're going to emulate the line here. So this is the middle and we're going to come out 10 in both directions. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Counting with Avo. And then we're going to do that in the other side as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then in this direction, we're going to come out. Um, so this is 18 wide. So that being one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. And then what we're going to do is we're going to complete that square and we're going to make it too high. So a wall is too high and we're going to complete the square all the way around there. So I'll be back when I've done that. So there we go. So we've got a wall that is too high and we filled out the bottom. Now I put this little diagonal bit of blue in here, not because I want you to build it, but just to indicate that we are mirroring the bit on the underneath and we're filling out this part here, this floor, up to where that would be. Okay, so you've got one, two, hang on, let's get closer to it so you can count with Avo. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and then 14 and 13 and 12 and 11, 10, all the way up till you get to one, two, three, four, five, six, and then make it big again. And that will give you exactly the same shape as the blue on the floor. And then once you've done that bit, don't actually put the blue in, leave it as a gap, it's just to show you. 
and then leave a gap of three from each side throw that bit there one two three gap there then this bit one two three gap one two three gap one two three gap and then on the fourth square so one two three four make another inner diamond so this is one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen along this longest bit and then it goes eleven nine seven five three one like that lots of counting with avo today aren't you lucky so i'm just going to get rid of this blue because we don't actually need it it's not necessary it was just to show you what i'm talking about hopefully it sets in your mind the gap that i want you to create okay so it should look a little bit like that then come into the corner here and i want you to put one bit in there and then come across another six so one and then another six one two three four five six and then the same in this corner one and then another six one two three four five six and then come in this direction six one two three four five six and then the same over here one two three four five six and then i want you to build a diagonal across from the end so one two three four five six and that should be seven same on this side one to get yourself oriented one two three four five six and that should be seven and then unsurprisingly i want you to fill in the gap get this gap filled in here as well do it gap filled filled gap okay so that's what you should have right now then and if you could have done this earlier i suppose do another row all the way around literally i mean all the way around the edge right to this part there and then same on this side right to this part there there we go so we've got a nice system like that and then what we're going to do is we're going to get water and we're going to stick a water bucket in here like that which should run all the way to the edge but not go over beautiful and then we're going to get another water bucket there it's going to go all the way to the edge but not go over oh my goodness thank goodness for that it actually worked <laughs> then we're going to get a conductive block and it could be the same block as you've got um in your uh, stack so far doesn't matter i'm just going to use cobble because it's dead easy and you are going to stick a conductive block right in the middle so right along that row at the back there just like that that is what you're after that is exactly what you're looking for and then we're going to start to do some clever redstone right so what we're doing now is we are building from the bottom up which is why i put the water in now it's a little bit annoying in terms of noise i will grant you but it means that if you're doing it in survival you don't have to keep going up and down and it's a lot lot easier now i'm doing it in creative but that's because it makes it easier for me to show you in a tutorial. So stick another block there. And then what we're going to do is we're going to create a quite long delay clock. And it's approximately kind of 12, 14 second clock. And we're going to go one, two, three, like that. Dead, dead simple. Then we're going to get another block just as I can simply see it. And we're going to stick a redstone torch on that like that. We're then going to get another repeater and then another repeater. And we're going to get a bit of redstone dust there. I'm going to get another repeater there, like that. And I'm going to get another block just um, there. And I'm going to get the torch there. We're then going to get ourselves another repeater going into that one, coming out of a block. A repeater going into that block, like that, for now. Okay, then what we're going to do is I've come over this side. Coming out of the same block that this repeater is going into there, we're going to come out of it. I'm going to get some redstone dust to go there and there. I'm going to get another repeater there and there. That's going to go into a block, which is going to have a torch on it, like that. That is going to have redstone dust there and there. We're going to put a repeater there and there, and with a bit of redstone there, and a repeater there. And you'll see what happens now is we end up with a clock that goes round and round and round and around. Then all we have to do is we set all of these repeaters to a four tick delay by clicking on them three times. You can see the slider goes all the way to the back. Every single one, all the way back. 
and that creates a relatively slow clock. And you see it goes round and round and round and round and through that block and out the other side and then round and round again. That's what we're trying to achieve. And then just for the time being, what I want you to do is to get yourself a lever and stick a lever on that block and switch it. And all that will do, that will just lock that clock. Lock the clock. And it will stop it from working. So as soon as it gets to that, that can't turn on because it has been turned on here. And it all goes horribly wrong for the clock. So what we're now going to do is we're going to start to build up our tower. And we're going to first off put a redstone torch there. We're going to come up one and two. We're going to stick a block there. And come up one, two. Redstone torch goes on there and it turns off because that torch has powered this block which means that this torch can't turn on it creates a not gate because that is not on we're then going to put that on like that we're going to come up again at one more level and we're going to put a redstone torch on there and that is on because that is off because that is on but what i'm going to demonstrate to you here is when i switch this switch and the clock goes dooby dooby doo all the way around it will turn off that torch and it will switch it and then it'll come around again and eventually it will turn on the torch and it will switch it. So you can see that now is the way that we can switch our redstone torch tower on and off just like that. You can see that is now on. Then what we're going to do is we're going to get one more just and basically we're going to end up towering up this section here. But we're just going to keep going and do this over and over again. And I recommend you do this at least let me get this up at least as high as I'm going and it, it really depends on how many levels you want to have in your mob grinder because what we're going to have here that is going to be one level and then we're going to go up and then we're going to have another level there and another level there so I'll just build that out and I'll be back uh, when I've done that. so for illustration purposes I have just built this tower up four levels ignore the top three levels they don't exist at the moment yet because you're in survival and you won't have gone up before you've done this bit so this is the only bit you can see you can't see anything above this level it doesn't exist close your eyes to it it does not exist what i want you to do is on this third torch you can see we've got one two three that's where your first level is i want you to build this row in front of the torch out so as it's 15 across so if you count that block as one two three four five six seven eight and then again the other side one two three four five six seven and eight and then duplicate that all the way along and then next come in so as it is coming in so that is now a 13 across and then similarly come in and form that triangle but remember the back row is too deep see one two and just finish the triangle and there it goes and that overlaps that water underneath and then what we're going to do is we're going to come along here and we're going to build up a back wall but don't put one in front of the torch and come along and along and along and along like that and that is a nice back wall and then what we're going to do is we're going to get a dispenser shove it into that gap just like that we're going to shove it into that gap and then into the dispenser we're going to put a bucket of water just like that and that is that level finished so now what you can do is you can build up this next bit so you do like a, a roundy bit with a torch on that one and that will turn off then come up another level put a torch on that one and it will turn on and then literally repeat this process that you repeated down on this level so we're going to come up with that being one two three four five six seven eight around the other side two three four five six seven eight duplicate that all the way along and then build out the triangle just like this and then stick the back wall on exactly the same way as we did just before but don't put one in front of the torch because that is the spot that we have given to another dispenser facing in this direction so there you go now i recommend you do three or four platforms four is plenty don't do more than four because it will start to get too far away from you when you're sat in a nice little AFK spot. Don't do that. Just do three or four. So I'm going to be back when I've done that. Okay, so we've got ourselves four levels there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to come up on this back one, but we're not going to come out again. We're just going to come up and I'm going to come up 
one, two, three, and four. And then we're gonna build what's basically a roof. So we wanna come out this way, 20. So that's so that being one, two, three, four. I'm doing this in survival way by crouching. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. And 20. So we come out 20 in that direction. Then in this direction, we don't need to come out 20, we just need to come out 10. So that being one, two, three, 10. There we go. So that is basically the, the center part of the roof. Then what you're gonna make is literally just a, an overlappy thing by coming all the way along and build it in a nice big diamond shape right the way to there. And then do the same on this side and just keep going until you've created it all the way to a point at the side. There you go, so we've got one half of that diamond and then all you need to do is repeat it on the other side. I'll be back when I've done it. So there you have it, a really nice roof. And you can see underneath those four platforms are beautifully shadowed now. So you're not gonna end up having any problems with those light levels being too high. However, on here, there is a problem because mobs can spawn on this roof and you really don't want that to happen. So what you wanna do is you want to light it up. And I recommend you do it using torches because again, that is really the cheapest way to light this up. You could use glowstone if you wanted, but I prefer torches because it's nice and cheap. This is supposed to be as resource friendly as possible. Yeah, I know we lose in lots of cobble, but come on, let's face it, cobblestone, dead, dead easy to get, right? Loads and loads of cobble. You could use the cobblestone generator that I did, or you could just dig it out of the ground if you wanted to. So all you wanna do is just literally light this up as much as you can to make it as lit as possible. You don't want anything happening. Um, to, to have uh, mobs spawning on here. So what you can do is you come in a diamond, come in one, two, three, and then go with that one being one, two, three, four, and then one, two, three, four, and then one. That should be two, three, four, and it's the torch. So that one being one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and one. There you go. So I'm gonna come back when I finish putting a load of torches on. And we've got a nice evenly spaced roof. They are four blocks apart. And that is why you did the size that you did on the roof because I like it to look very natural and regular. And then what I want you to do, you're thinking, hang on a minute, how do I get back down now, Avo? I can't get through. Well, you can knock out that block that is right there. And you can see, you can drop down to the bottom into the water right in there and that's what we're going to do now so on survival drop yourself into your water source splash you're not going to die because you're in survival and we're going to sort that out later because we can and um we're very very nearly ready to start getting mob spawning it's currently turned off we're going to sort that out again in a minute but what we're going to do now is we're going to take out these blue bits right these blue bits are where the mobs will drop this is where they're gonna end up going. So let's just get rid of all of these. Now I said right at the beginning that this is resource friendly, except you do need a fair amount of iron. And this is why you need a fair amount of iron, because you're gonna need quite a few bits of iron to make this work. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna get a hopper going into this pointy block, just point it into the block, and get another hopper, point it into that, and then what we're going to do is we're literally just going to do exactly the same all the way down, point the hoppers into the hopper in front, all the way along, like that. And you might think, Avo, this is an awful lot of iron. And it is, but it is not as much iron as if you were making a massive base uh, to this and just allowing the mobs to fall. It will be far more if you did that. One in there, whoops, shift click, one in there, and one in there. So you've got like a row, and then you're gonna repeat it on the other side. And 
and there we go. So that is our hopper collection system. Now you will notice that it is pretty dark underneath here. So all you need to do now is get this place all nicely lit up because if you don't light it up, you're not gonna get anything spawning up there. Everything is gonna spawn down here and that ain't no good for anybody. So get this place lit up really nicely. Don't worry about using too many torches. It's completely up to you how many torches you use, but make sure there is no area under here that is a light level of seven or less because that would be an absolute disaster because you'd end up having your stuff spawning right around where you actually want to be not spawning. That's an obvious statement, right? So let's just carry on. And I'm gonna to torch this all out underneath here as much as possible, and I'll be back when I've done it. So there we go. I've properly overdone it with the torches. Obviously, you're not gonna to have to put them that far close together. You can spread them out way more than that. That is just to, again, illustrate what it is we're trying to achieve. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna get ourselves some right here. And get rid of that torch. Right here, we're gonna stick the torch there instead. Right here, we're gonna stick a double chest. You can see here, we've got hopper pointing in this direction. So we can get ourselves a double chest right there, and we can get one there and one there. And anything that's collected will shoot into the double chest. Now, this is the point at which you could create a much larger inventory system. You could put an item sorter onto it. You can do all sorts. I'm not doing that. That is not the purpose of this tutorial. That is just gonna collect into that double chest for now. But you can obviously do a much larger inventory system should you wish to and make it really, really clever. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna go back up. And the reason we're gonna go back up is one, I wanna fix that hole. And two, there we go. So just go up with a load of ladders because you might wanna come up to the top at some point just to check where you're going. And we are gonna make a little AFK spot now. So let's keep going up and 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 up. There we go. And we're on this level there. Now, we're too close for this bottom level. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come up here to the top and we're gonna fix that. But first off, we're gonna fix that hole at the top by coming up and 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 up the ladders like that. We're gonna get our cobblestone and we are gonna, oh, we're not gonna fall. I'm just rubbish at ladders. You lot are much better at ladders than I am. And we're gonna stick that in there. Now, I can't drive ladders. I have every faith that you will be able to do that. Believe me, I've seen lots of people do it in the past. Okay, so that has brought us to a um, almost completion. So then we're gonna come down that ladder there and we're gonna come up to about this level and we're gonna pause ourselves and we're gonna, by crouching, you pause by crouching on a ladder and you come out to the side and build yourself a little bit higher than that. Oh, except I'm rubbish at ladders. For goodness sake, I'm so rubbish at ladders. Right, so what I want you to do is I want you to build an AFK spot about 10 blocks below this level. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, like that. So I know you can do that without assistance of creative because you're not rubbish like off of me, but I am. So I'm just gonna do it for the ease of that. So you've got your little AFK spot here, which is great. And you're gonna put some light in the corners of this like that. And this is close enough to get all four of these platforms spawning nasties and monsters. And you can look down and see what's going on over there as well. So that is that bit. And then all that remains is you come up to the top here and you turn it on like that. And what that will do is that clock will then switch the redstone and when it goes around the second cycle and those torches go on again, it will squirt out the water. And you can see it squirts the water on all four levels. And then when it inverts the redstone signal once more, so let's turn it off and then the next one will turn it back on again, it sucks the water away. And what that's gonna do, that gives the mobs a chance to spawn in here. I mean, friendly at the moment, which is why it's not spawning. That gives the mobs a chance to spawn on here. And then the water comes along, washes them off, which comes along here and it washes them down that hole which makes them fall to their doom onto those hoppers which collect all of the bits and pieces that they drop thank you very much and we are away now all i'd recommend to do now is on this redstone area is get a little bit of light 
stick yourself some torches in here. That will stop mobs from spawning in this area here. And it, it won't interfere with the redstone in any way, so don't worry about that. So you've got a nice light area there that's going to stop anything from spawning on that platform. Let's just stick another one in there. That's cool. So that works really, really quite well. So let's just get ourselves away so you can see what's going on. And that there is a functional mob spawner. So I've put myself into non-peaceful mode and um, literally just did it. And what I'm doing is I'm just going to show you. So it's not hugely loads and loads, but you can see things are just starting to spawn. And because it's automatic, you don't have to do anything. You can see there, look, that things are just going to spawn just onesie twosies. You're not going to get mad rushes. If you wanted to, you could increase the number or the amount of delay on that clock. Absolutely, you could do that. And what I've noticed there is that we're starting to get more and more spawn as time goes on. You get more and more and more. And it also works with spiders. Spiders are notoriously difficult to have work on a mob farm. And that is because they climb up the holes when you have like long shoots. They just climb up and up and up. But what we've got here is we've got just a nice area. Look, there's another spider's popped out there. There's a creeper. We're getting a few bits and pieces growing in there. That's nice. They get washed away. As that water comes along, look, there's witches as well. That's absolutely brilliant. And they will fall down and into your collection system. Occasionally, a spider will mess about and get, end up on the redstone. Now, that's interesting. I've never, ever seen that before. So you've seen it live here. I don't, in my tutorials, try and cover up any problems. That spider literally just jumped that gap. And look, it's jumping for joy. It's saying, I defeated you, Abermans. I defeated you, and you cannot get me now. And you're right. I can't get you now. Sorry about that, mate. You're going to live there on your own forever. So that is the mob spawner. So I didn't like it. So as a quick fix, what I've done is I've removed from this center stage bit here all of the extra blocks that are basically not needed for, um, for, for that platform. So everything that was extra, I've just knocked them out. And as a result, the spiders can't crawl across to that other platform and they fall down to their doom. So there's your fix. I fixed it live on video. That is what you want. And that is the mob grinder. Let's get down and see what sort of stuff we've collected. Look, there we go. We've got another creeper in there. It's it's not hundreds and hundreds at the same time. Endermen don't work because the second the water touches them, they pop away. We know that. This is not an Enderman farm, but it works for all the others. Let's get down to the bottom. You can see they're all falling on those hoppers. And we can see in here how much we've got in this chest. So, so far, we've got arrows and bone and gunpowder and flesh and string and also some redstone that came from that witch. So, actually, it's pretty good. There goes another creeper. They all land very nicely onto those hoppers. No need to worry about them missing. Look, there's nothing missed there at all. There's no loot waiting for you to, um, uh, to collect whilst you're down here. So, it's all very, very nice. So, a relatively resource-friendly mob farm. So you're going to get from the bottom, you're going to have things fall down uh, from the bottom and possibly the second from bottom row. You don't need to go up to the AFK spot, but if you go up to the AFK spot, you get all four platforms playing for you. If you've enjoyed it, please do hit that like button. It would be great to know that you've enjoyed the video. And let's see how many likes we can get on this one. And if you haven't done it already, please do hit the subscribe button. It would be great to see you in my sub club. And I look forward to seeing you in another video. You take it easy now. Bye.